Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Technical Leaks Plan. In this video, we are going to discuss the drain, drain feedback configuration of enhancement type MOSFET and we are going to perform the AC analysis. Now, the equivalent AC circuit of the enhancement type MOSFET is given as such. Now, if you can see on your screen, this is the drain feedback configuration of the enhancement type MOSFET. You can see that we have N channel enhancement type MOSFET connected over here and we have the drain feedback configuration where the drain where the part of the output voltage is feeded back to the input voltage towards the gate terminal by the resistance RF. Now we need to perform the AC analysis so this coupling capacitor C1 and C2 is going to be shorted out. So we can simply replace the C1 and C2 by short circuits. So this too is going to be my short circuits and also the voltage VDD will be grounded because for AC the DC for AC analysis the DC sources will be grounded. So we are going to have a ground over here which means that we are going to have a zero volt over here. Now if you can have a look this input voltage is directly connected to this gate terminal. So we are having VI is equal to VG and also the source is grounded so we are also having Vs is equal to 0 which means that we are going to have Vgs is going to be again equal to Vg minus Vs which means that Vgs is going to be because Vg is equal to Vi so I can put Vi here and Vs is equal to 0 so we have Vgs is equal to Vi this is an important equation and this is equation number 1 also we have V0 is equal to Vd so now to perform the AC analysis, we need to put the enhancement type uh, equivalent circuit, equivalent model in place of this JFET. So I have simply uh, placed the equivalent circuit in place of this JFET and we are going to have a simplified diagram like this. Again input is connected to the gate terminal, output is taken from the gate terminal. That is why this feedback the drain feedback configuration is also the common source configuration and the source is grounded if we can have a look the source is grounded again we have placed the equivalent circuit in place of this JFET and this RF is connected between the drain and gate so we have RF connected between the drain and gate that is why we are going to have the resistance RF connected between drain and gate and this RD is connected between drain and ground so that is why this RD is going to be connected between grid, uh, between drain and ground. So now we are going to start our analysis and to start our analysis we are going to assume that we have uh, that we are we are going to assume that we have I I current I input current flowing over here. Now the same current is going to flow over here which is the I I. Now this I I is going to be divided at this node is at this node so we are going to have i r d over here and we are going to have i capital r d over here so now at this drain terminal i am going to apply the kcl so now we are going to have i i is equal to because this is flowing into the node and these three currents are flowing out of the node so we are going to have i i is equal to g m v g s plus i r d plus i r d so this is going to be my equation number one now i r d we have the voltage v naught over here so i r d is equal to v naught divided by r d similarly similarly this i r d is equal to v naught divided by this resistance r t so we are going to have i i is equal to g m v g s plus v naught divided by rd plus v naught divided by the capital rd now we can write it as i i is equal to g m v g s where g m is the transconductance plus v naught divided by rd parallel to the capital rd now we can write this as I I minus G M V G S is equal to V naught R D parallel to the capital R D. 
or if I find V naught from here, so V naught is going to be equal to I I. I'm going to shift R D parallel to R D here. So this is, will be equal to I I minus G M V G S and R D parallel to R D. So let me name this as equation number two. Also, this VGS is going to be equal to VI. As I said earlier, VGS is equal to VI. So I can replace VI over here. So we are going to have V naught is equal to II minus GM VI into RD parallel to RD. So this is suppose my equation A. Now, what will be II? If you can have a look, this current I I is flowing over here and we have a K terminal over here which is equal to V G which is equal to V I and we have a drain terminal over here which is equal to V D which is equal to the V naught. So I I is actually V I minus V naught divided by R F. So we can write here that I I is equal to V I minus V naught divided by R F. So in place of I, I, I can replace uh, this equation. So we are going to have so we are going to have I, I is equal to V, I minus V naught divided by R, F. And let me name it as equation B. Now the value of V naught, this equation of V naught will be substituted here. So we are going to have I I is equal to V I minus this V naught and this V naught is going to be I I minus G M V I into R D parallel to R D and we are going to have R F. Now this R F will be transferred here so we are going to have I into R F is equal to V I this i i will be multiplied with this term and then minus g m v i will be multiplied with this term. So we are going to have v i minus r d parallel to r d into i i i plus g m v i into r d parallel to the capital r d. Now what I am going to do is to take the i i terms to one side and the v i times v i terms will be left on the other side. So I am going to transfer this minus r d parallel to the capital R d i i over here. So we are going to have i i r f plus this term. So it will be plus over here and this will be equal to r d capital r d uh, parallel to the capital R d into i i. And this will be equal to VI plus into GM VI RD parallel to RD. Now I'm going to take the II common from here. So II is going to be equal to RF plus RD parallel to the capital RD. And this will be VI1 plus the transconductance RD parallel to rd now i want to find the input impedance and that input impedance is going to be equal to vi by ii so that is going to be equal to we are going to have that i is equal to this will be rf plus rd parallel to the capital rd divided by 1 plus gm rd parallel to the capital R D. Now this is going to be the equation of my input impedance. So let me name it as equation 1A. Now, now this is my equation for the input impedance. Next is to find the output impedance Z0. Now to find the Z0 I need to make the input voltage is equal to 0. So this will make me a VGS is equal to 0. So when VGS is equal to 0, this term GM VGS is going to be equal to 0 and we are again going to have an open circuit in the place of the voltage dependent current source. 
so we are going to have an open circuit over here in case of in place of this voltage dependent current source again vi has been made zero which means that this has been grounded so we have this vi which has been grounded over here so this vi is going to be grounded and this is going to be open circuit so we are going to assume an open circuit over here now if we can have a look because this is grounded so we have these two resistances in parallel and we also have this resistance in parallel because this is also connected to the one on the one side it is connected to the drain terminal on the other side it is grounded same is the case for this on one side it is connected to the drain terminal and the other side is grounded same is the case for this resistance rd so we are going to have z naught is equal to the parallel combination of these three resistances so z naught will be equal to the parallel combination of these three resistances and normally the resistance rf is very large when when the resistance rf is very large we can always neglect that resistance in parallel combination so we can say that z naught is equal to rd parallel to rd and if the rd this is also kept this is small rd sorry and if rd is very very greater than r uh, 10 times greater than the capital rd so z naught is going to be approximately equal to rd so this is going to be out my output impedance z naught so this is my output impedance which is equal to the resistance rd now to find the voltage gain again let me find the voltage gain over here and i am going to again apply the kcl over here again i am going to apply the kcl over here and we are going to again have the same equation which is which was this equation so i am going to simply write this equation over here again i am going to write this equation over here again so let me move over here and i am going to write this equation so this is is going to be so this is going to be equal to again i i is equal to g m v g s plus v naught r d parallel to the capital r d now again we know that v g s is going to be equal to v i and i i is equal to i i is equal to v i minus v naught divided by r f so let me repl replace i i with this thing and let me replace the VGS by VGS is VI. So we are going to have II is equal to GM VI plus V naught RD parallel to the capital RD. Now in place of II, I am going to write VI minus V naught divided by RF is equal to GM VI plus V naught rd parallel to the capital rt which implies that i have vi divided by rf minus v naught divided by rf is equal to gm vi plus v naught divided by rd parallel to the capital rd now this is we have only the vi and v out terms in here so i'm going to uh, uh, collect the VI terms to one side and the V0 terms to the other side because the voltage gain again we know that the voltage gain is equal to V0 by VI so let me select let me uh, place the VI terms to the left side and V0 terms to the right side the so VI is going to be equal to VI into 1 by RF this is 1 by RF and this will be minus GM VI so this will be minus GM so this is going to be the vi term and i am going to again shift this towards here so v naught term is going to be equal to 1 by rf plus 1 by rd parallel to the capital rd now this thing is actually equal to 1 by rf parallel to rd parallel to the capital rd so I can replace this term by this term. So I'm going to replace this term by this. So we are going to have VI 1 by RF minus the transconductance GM is equal to V naught 1 by RF parallel to RD 
parallel to the capital R D. So now we are in position to find the voltage gain which is V naught by V i. So V naught by V i is going to be equal to 1 by R f minus G m R f divided by this thing which is 1 by R f parallel to R d parallel to the capital R d. So this is going to be my equation for the voltage gain. Now the transconductance G m is very very greater than 1 by R f. So we can assume the R f 0 over here. So this thing is going to be assumed as 0 and we are going to only write the minus G m. So we are going to have V naught by V i is our voltage gain. So we are going to have minus G m divided by 1 by R f parallel to R d parallel to the capital R d which implies that we are going to have the voltage gain is equal to minus G m into R f parallel to the R d parallel to the capital R d. So this is going to be my equation for the voltage gain and we know that R f is going to be very very greater than R d parallel to the capital R d. So we can as we can neglect the term R f. Uh, also if R d is greater than or equal to the 10 times R d we are going to have this thing equal to the capital R d. So we are going to have A v is equal to minus G m R d. Again the negative sign shows that we have 180 degree phase shift that the voltage and current are out of phase. So this is all about the uh, drain feedback configuration of the enhancement type MOSFET. Thank you.